How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and last time we just ran all across Unova. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm pretty thirsty. I could use some fresh water. Well, now we are across the Sky Arrow Bridge and we're gonna start our journey into southeastern Unova. Now this is actually the place you could go in the, uh, in the earlier parts of the original Pokemon Black and White. So in order to get there, we're gonna need to stop by Pinwheel Forest first. And there's a whole ton of trainers to fight here. This forest is full of little hollows and hillocks and walking in it is so fun. And having Pokemon battles is even more fun. It's just so much fun. Oh man, look at that little tyke. Preschooler Jojo. Oh man, <laughs> so many jokes that could be made here, but I'm not even going to go there. Not even going to go there. So, let's use return on this super whooper thing. Take it out. Look at that smiley face. How on earth could I knock that out? Temple, huh? Well, Temple, you little swimmy thing. I'm gonna take you out with return. Yeah! Return of the King! Boom! Just enough to get a Miracle to level 64. Sweet. Your Pokemon are so cool. Yeah, I know. They're awesome. They're pretty much the coolest there are. All right. Now that he's at level 64, I think I need to level up Scaly. Oops. Oh, yeah. I still have strength on there. That's not good. All right. Let's see. Hey, you. Oh. We're thinning trees to protect the forest. That's why we're having Pokemon cut down trees. When there are too many trees, the whole forest gets weaker. These trees are being cut down so the whole forest will thrive. Oh yeah, sounds like an elaborate scam if you ask me. I'm going to do a lap around Unova clockwise from Nimbasa City without healing my Pokemon. It's a Unova Spartan Marathon and next time I'm going to race. This is Sparta! Uh, <laughs> Right, the legendary Pokemon, is it true it was really beyond here? Uh, yeah, but why are you blocking my path, you jerk? You are a rather adult-looking kid. <laughs> a kiddish adult? Oh, jeez. I'll just find out when we battle. Are you calling me a baby face there? I don't know, but I am a pretty adultish-looking kid, aren't I? I mean, you know... I may look 10 or 11 or maybe 12, but I'm actually 25. <laughs> I know, I'm just so awful, right? So, execute, huh? Well, let's execute this execute with return. Ow. Well, this stinks. I keep forgetting how weak you are, Scaleaf. I know, I know. I'm just so rude to insult you like that, but it's true. No, it's firing its solar beam. Ow, oh, that hit for massive damage. Yeah, take that, Egg Face! Time to make a scramble! Oh, Mill Tank. Oh no, it's gonna roll out all over me. Um, I'm gonna just use Sakurai and get this thing over with. I'm going to get it over with. I'm gonna knock the milk right out of you, you tank! Let's start with Fake Out, though, because why not? Boom. Yeah, I think Jump Kick will do enough. Aw, yeah. You are a childish and adult and altogether... Something like that. I couldn't read the rest. It goes so fast in this game. Ah, Hey, you're not gonna battle me. Ah, wouldn't it be nice if the Pokemon living in the forest like the sunbeams filtering through the leaves, too? Wouldn't that be nice? Hey, you! You little rugrat, get over here! Instead of a Dragon-type Pokemon, I found myself a spectacular trainer! Wow, you're so young, yet you know the meaning of the word spectacular. I am impressed, preschooler Samantha. I mean, when I was your age, I was saying words like anti-disestablishmentarianism and supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And don't ask me to spell that, because otherwise I'm just gonna say T-H-A-T. Let's use her turn on this Dratini. Teeny little Dratini. Level 59, though. Whoa, Scaleaf took it out in one hit. No way. 
Yikes, and a bag on. Oh, if I had Dragon Pulse right now, I would be in business. Actually, you'll be set. You can take it out. It's not overly strong, anyway. I wonder how many times I have used Coil. I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to use it. This is the time. I'm finally going to sweep a team with Coil, but never really got around to it. I just have too much strong backup that I don't even need it. And a Gibble. Gibble, Gibble, Gibble. Gibble, Gibble, Gibble. Gibbles and bits, Gibble. Actually, this is great. I think I can use Leaf Blade for neutral damage, and it'll do more than return. Much, much more. Yeah. Because it's part ground type. You are spectacular, and more than that, so strong. And you're so grammatically correct for your age. Hey, you. You little squirt. Oh, I just heard a Pokemon, too. Oh, boo. Oh, boo. Boo. All right, whatever, pal. A little tyke, preschooler Jose. He's got a Burmy. Burmy! Look at that thing. That thing looks funky, man. It's all covered in leaves and things. It's probably gonna use Bug Bite or something. But I don't care. I'm gonna use her to turn and knock it out with a critical hit because I'm so awesome. And a Paris. Wow, that's hot. No, wait, wrong Paris. Let's use Vesuvian here. Yeah, I'm gonna burn this bug. All right, time for some flamethrower. Curse, there's another move I have yet to really use all that much. I thought I was going to use it more than I have. Oh, well, it gives me a reason to replace it with other things, I suppose. And a scyther. Well, I can take that out with Vesuvian just fine. Look at that thing, it looks so cool. Oh, I probably should have used Stone Edge, but oh well, Flamethrower will be enough. I'm positive of that. Aw, oh, yeah. Level 64. Excellent, excellent. Your Pokemon seem kind of happy, trainer. Well, that's good. Except I wish they were more than kind of happy. I'm going to like Dragon-type Pokemon because I want to talk to Drayden. That seems like a good idea. What? Oh, there's Charon over there. We'll deal with him in just a moment. Hi, trainer. If you have a Pokedex, could you show me your habitat list? I want to know about the Pokemon that live in Pinwheel Forest. You still have many meetings waiting for you. So, I need to find all the Pokemon that live in here, huh? Now, I can go and see Charon right there, but before I do, I want to fight these twins just to get them out of the way. If you keep going east there, we're best friends! Our Pokemon are best friends, too. Best friends forever! Alright, I hear an echo here. Yeah, just pass that route. That'll take you to the exterior of Pinwheel Forest, which I will cover, uh, probably in the next episode. And then pass that as the way to Nacreen City. Before you can go there, though, you have to fight these two! Twins! Twins, Basil, twins. And, uh, it's a plusle and a minin. I know, the dynamic duo. Two electric types that would just love to make your acquaintance. Um, yeah, they're both at level 60. And should be pretty easy to take out, all things considered. Try to focus your attacks on one of them, so that way they'll be left with just one. I know, so easy from there. Yeah! Take that, you happy little rat thing. Even if we lose, we'll still be best friends. Oh, right. Anyway, now that I've beaten those best friends, I want to go see my best friend, Charon. Hey, nice timing. I heard that Team Plasma was seen in Pinwheel Forest. Could you help me look for them? No way, man. I just want to sleep. Actually, I'm well rested. All right, this is a good opportunity for me to see up close what you can really do. I suppose I'll follow your lead. Leave recovery to me. Sure thing, pal. So, when you have Charon on your team, you can either talk to the trainers individually to fight them in a single battle, or you can just run right across their line of sight to fight them in a double battle with Charon in your team. Charon's fairly strong, so you might as well fight in a double battle. But if you prefer single battles, HEAR THE CRY OF MY HEART! <laughs> EVERYONE SIT DOWN AND SHUT UP! Whoa! 
That is some cry. <laughs> I don't even know. Hey you, you're gonna lose and cry. Wow, everyone is talking about crying here and shutting up. Jeez. I don't want to deal with this Rosalind. Oh, preschooler Ike. He fights for his friends. Well, she has a chancy on her team. Level 61. Oh, my. Gives plenty of experience when you knock it out. As you can see, Charon, he has his Stoutland, except it's at level 67. Yikes. That's pretty strong. Pretty strong indeed. Um, so definitely a good idea to use him on your team if you want. I mean, you know, can't go wrong with that. Additionally, if uh, his Stoutland gets knocked out, he does have other strong Pokemon who will replace it with. I think he still has his Chinchino and, um... Oh, what's the other thing? I think it's Watchhog. Pretty sure that's it. Gyro Ball. Boom! Barely did anything. Uh-oh, Levani, not good. Not good. I don't like the looks of that thing. It's intimidating my snake. Stoutland hit it. No wrong thing, you dumb dog. Ugh. Now it's gonna cross scissor me or X scissor or whatever. Ow! Oh well, at least I heal afterwards. Oh jeez, a ferrothorn, really? You know what? Skip this, man. I'm gonna switch out for uh, Vesuvian. Why not? Just tempted to send out Magneto, but not really a great matchup here. Superpower? Yeah, use your superpowers. Knock out that Ferrothorn. Show it a thing or really? Not even enough to take it out. I'm disappointed in you. Iron barbs, no. Yeah, X scissor this. Jeez. Hit hard. <laughs> wow, speaking of hitting hard. I'm gonna go with Earthquake. It's not gonna do a lot, but I kinda wanna knock that Stoutland out just to see what Charon's going to replace his Pokemon with. I really wanna know. And what better of a way to find out than knocking out your own Pokemon? At least assuming I live from this. Jeez. Sorry, big doggy. <laughs> I know. I'm such a bully. Yeah, there's his watch on. You're still best off with the Stoutland, though. Ooh, that thing's feisty. It's got Ice Punch. Cool. That's a nice move for it. I feel a bit better now that I've let that out. Grrr! Grrr! <laughs> He's like a possessed teddy bear or something. All right, all right, I got my dowsing machine going. Oh yeah. Any of the fights you're gonna run into here are going to be double battles. You can find ooh, a few Pokemon here and there, but yeah, pretty much if you're looking to catch anything, you're not gonna be in luck because it's just a pain trying to catch them when you have that big old Stoutland in your way. I know. Um, you can find Vigoroth, though. That's one of the Pokemon you can find in here. Guess it's kind of new to you. You can also find Slacking in the grass, the Shaking Grass, I'm sorry. Get great powers drawn from nature without opposing it. That is the strength of Rangers. Sounds very, uh, very strong. Very strong indeed. Hillary. Hillary has a pseudo -wudo. Oh, I don't think so, pal. Wow, level 62, not too shabby there. Especially since you have three other Pokemon. Let's take it out with a Leaf Blade. It has high defense, so I didn't, yeah, I figured I wouldn't knock it out in one hit. Stone Edge could hurt. I know I'm resistant, but, oh my goodness, a critical hit. Why? Why? Why do you always do this to me, critical hits? Why? Eh, anyway, take it out. And then a bird chick. Yikes, well this is just a job for Magneto here. I've got a flash cannon pointed right at that bear. Right at old icicle beard there. Yeah, come at me, Frosty. I'm gonna flash cannon you so hard, it'll knock you in the next week. Boom. Ha! 
Take that! I don't care, bear! You're done. Ah, uh, gloom. Gloom, gloom! Oh, man. So many things I could do. I'm just gonna leave Magneto out. Fire flash cannons at it. Hey, you got something on your face there. You got something! You're drooling! Better, uh, better do something about that. Wow, not even enough to knock it out. Oh well, it's just gonna be locked into Petal Dance. See if I care about that. I don't. I don't care at all. And since I get healed after every fight, I don't even have to worry about healing or conserving PP or anything like that. No, I'm way better than that. This is one of the powers I've got from nature. Ooh, a citrus berry. They're just too amazing. Great power can be dangerous. Oh man, you know what? I'm just gonna use some repels here. These Pokemon get so boring after seeing them for five million times in a row. The only thing I can find new is Vigoroth. And I don't really want to have to fight Vigoroth right now. Not with Charon on my team. In fact, probably not ever. I'll be honest. So, let's just use a super repel quick. Ooh, down to 10. Something must be done about that. Anyway, over here is... Oh, there's nothing over here. That stinks. Oh yeah, see this rock right here? <laughs> Touching it feels good somehow. It feels so good. Um, if you have an Eevee, you can take it to that rock and level up around it, and then it'll evolve into Leafeon. Yep, too bad you couldn't get there until uh, after you've beaten the game. Dwayne, he's got a weeping bell. Oh, darn it. Not gonna do me any good. Okay, well, I gotta switch out. I'm just gonna go with Vesuvian. Yeah! Get at that thing. Ring out. You can't ring me out. Or maybe you can. Gastro acid grows! You suppress my ability! How will my eggs ever hatch now? You mean, mean person. Uh, Ursaring. Are you Ursaring? I had this problem. Man, I couldn't stop Ursaring. <laughs> uh, inside joke. So, to stop this Ursaring, I'm gonna send out my Sakura. Look at that big old grumpy bear. I'm gonna fake that thing out so fast. And then I'm gonna jump kick it to the face. Oh. Take that, you big bear. And a luxury. I mean luxury. <laughs> I know, the luxurious Luxray must fall to the volcano things of Vesuvian! Yeah! I'm gonna earthquake that thing. Crunch time. Uh-oh! Ow. Must have rivalry or something. That hit very hard. I'm sure this will hit harder, though. Not feeling too good about that, are you, Tiger? Huh? I'm such a weakling! I will disappear back into the wilderness! Fine, back into the wilderness you go. Away with you! Yeah, he gives you a citrus berry, too, after you beat him. Cool. Uh, alright. Bye. Now, before you head that way, make sure you pick up this Ultra Ball right down there, because you know you need one. Right? Hey, Squirt. You gonna battle me? You wanna fight? You wanna do this? Shorts and Pokemon! This is the ultimate combination! <laughs> oh, that is great! That is great! Shorts and Pokemon, the ultimate combination! They're so comfy and easy to wear! Yeah, gotta love those youngsters and their shorts, huh? So, he has a Mankey on his team. Gonna take that thing out with a leaf blade to the face. Look at it, it looks so angry. What an angry little pig monkey thing. Ah, uh, Snobble. Oh, there's another angry Pokemon. Jeez, this guy's team is full of angry dudes. What's that all about? 
Go Magneto! Show this thing a thing or two. Oh, Intimidate. Oh, I should have used Braviary. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. You could Intimidate me all day, Snubble. I've got enough special attack to last for miles. If that even is the right way to measure this. Probably not, but whatever. Oh, Crawdon. Hey, I'm fine with this. Come at me, Crawdon! Gonna show you a thing or two with a thunderbolt. Yeah! Really let the sparks fly. It's not my Pokemon's fault. It's not my shorts' fault either. <laughs> oh, don't blame your shorts. Salute them. I'm wearing shorts to help toughen up my kneecaps. Do you want to feel them? No, I don't want to feel your kneecaps, dude. That's just weird. That's really weird. That is weird. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away from that and pick up this hidden Ultra Ball. Didn't I just get an Ultra Ball? Yes, I did. And there is a Max Revive. Hey, that's better. Certainly better. Max Revive right on over there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, it's another Ranger. What will we do? Get back here. I am the one who patrols Pinwheel Forest from one end to the other. A battle here is a piece of cake. Well, that's convenient because I'm hungry for cake. All right, Mr. Cake Dude. Ralph, you've got an Electric on your team, huh? Well, I've got an even bigger Electric thing. It's a flying UFO monster and uh... Huh, I guess I'm just gonna have to signal beam it, because everything else will be resisted. Still strong enough to take out that little thing. And give Magneto a level up. Cool, cool. Rapidash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, so many ways to take that thing out. I think I'm just gonna use Maryland here. Haven't used the little guy in a while. Get out there, you aqua rabbit. Take this pony out. I'm gonna pwn this pony. Use Waterfall! Flare Blitz? No! Just watch it burn me or something. Nope. Barely did anything. Yeah! And a Farfetch'd. Wow! That's a Farfetch'd, huh? We're gonna send Magneto out and fry that chicken. Even though I guess it's really more of a duck, but whatever. Chicken, duck, leak, same thing. Same thing. Let's just zap it. Surrender your leak at once! Hopefully he doesn't decide to tell me the legend of Farfetch'd. There is a legend. What a huge mistake to lose a battle in Pinwheel Forest! Why is that? What happens if you lose a battle here? Uh, Ranger always has one of these. Let me give one to you. Hmm, Lumberry. Something changes every day, so it's fun to patrol. Oh, wait, wrong way. This way is the way I want to go. What do we have here? Nothing. Huh. Well, let's climb up this log and then climb back down. Ooh, veterans. Snap, I think I have to fight them in a double battle for sure. Let's see. I can plan this better. Actually, I don't really have that many double battle Pokemon. I think Magneto will do fine. Alright, this is unavoidable. We're gonna have to fight them both! You and I, Charon, let's do this, buddy! I came here because this place feels quite nostalgic to me, but now I'd rather battle with you than stroll down memory lane. Let me show you the Pokémon that I met by fate! Okay, your Pokémon. Let you show them to me. Or something. Whoa! They've got six Pokémon between the two of them. And they're going to lead with Ludicolo and Crobat. Yikes, there are two Pokemon that are pretty tough to take out. I think Intimidate might help against Crobat, but I don't know. Let's see, am I more nervous about the Pineapple Duck or the big old bat? I'm worried about that bat there. Let's just give it a quick little uh, fake out. No! Okay, you can fake out that dog all day. You turn Uncool, buddy! Well, what are you sending out to replace it with? Magmortar? Uh-oh! That's not good. 
Well, let's just hope I hit it. Oh, wow, that did not hit very hard at all. Jeez, oh well, I'll be healed after this. Jeez, it's fast! Man! That's not good. Didn't do enough to knock me out, though. I know, Magneto has more defense than I thought. Well, actually, I knew it had pretty good defense. I had a feeling it survived that attack, but never can be sure. All right, Ludicolo. Whoa, strong. Stop watering the dog! Leafeon. Phew! Oops, I don't want to switch. Let's do... Oh, what do I want to do? Let's signal beam the Leafeon. Uh-oh, Swords Dance. This could get bad. Maybe I can confuse it. That'd be great. Yes! I love my life! <laughs> Take that, Pineapple Doc! You're done now. Electivire. Uh-oh! It's big and ugly! What do we do now? I have to signal beam. That's what I have to do. Earthquake. Oh, it's going all bravado now. Look at that. It's just going commando on me. Oh, that sounded wrong. I mean, it's going to attack very strong like a commando would. Yeah, backtrack, backtrack. All right, so let's use uh, strength, I guess. See how much that does. All right, I don't believe I... Nah, I guess I believe it. I mean, I took two super effective hits. Um... Send out Sakurai. Uh-oh, Crobat's back. What do I do now? I sent out Sakurai, that's what. Okay, uh, we are going to fake out... What are we going to fake out? I have this feeling that Crobat has inner focus or something, so I'm going to target that Electivire. We'll see what the dog does. Or we're just going to let it die. Oh well, big deal. Oh, you can't even send anyone else out. Alright, Watch Hog, watch this. Um, actually, what am I going to watch? Let's do... Ugh. I kind of want to take that bat out. Let's just go for it. Cross poison, yikes. Earthquake, no! Should have started with that Electivire. Ugh! Well, I'm more nervous with that bat. Oh, why did you do that? Dude, really? Like, that was pretty dumb. You could have taken that Crobat out, genius. Foratress. Ugh, this is gonna be a pain. Whatever. I'm just gonna try smash that thing as hard as I can with high jump kick. It has just a gargantuan amount of defense, though. No! I hate high jump kick. Ugh. Okay, now I'm mad. You're gonna pay for that. Uh, let's see about using Vesuvian! Yeah! Okay, you've got your Chinchino, huh? Well, we'll just see what that thing does. Uh, let's do... Ooh, I could Stone Edge that bat. I like that option. I'm not too worried about Fortress. Let's go for that. Rain Dance? Oh my goodness, what? Wow. That's surprisingly clever. Ooh, and my Chinchino is surprisingly clever. Yet surprisingly dumb in the sense that it hits only twice. Oh well, Stone Edge was enough to take it out anyway. Ugh, that rain is going to weaken my fire. It should still do a lot of damage, though, but it's just such a pain. Aqua Tail. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Use some strategy there. Ta-da! Okay, well, that was a grueling fight. Yes, my Pokemon are quite formidable. 
All right, fun. So, just past here, we can find a netball. Wow, really? We're still finding that junk? Uh, okay, so over here, though... Uh-oh, it's a youngin! You can fight him one-on-one, -on -one, or you can team up, I guess. So, let's team up, just because. Why not, right? Ta-da! Here's my cute Pokémon. You look tough. All right, my Pokémon are burning for a fight against a tough opponent. They're burning for them? You mean your Pokémon are literally burning? <laughs> oh, that's not good. Nidoran and Caskin. Wow, there's some wimpy Pokémon. Dude, you have a level 60 Cascoon? Do you have nothing better to do with your life? Wow. Oh man, six Pokemon again? This is gonna take forever. Well, let's just shoot Thunderbolts at things and see what happens. Yeah, that's right, Magneto. Pretend you're Zeus! Fire Thunderbolts all over the place. Strength? <laughs> that Cascoon's so weak. Even strength could take it out. Nitto Queen, uh-oh. Now there's something I have to watch for. Scolipede, hmm. Okay, okay. You may be just perhaps a bit more formidable than I had thought at first, but I think we can still vanquish you. Double edge. Why did you do that against my big magnet? You silly bug. I'm a flash cannon, your Nitto Queen over there. Ooh, yeah, so strong. Hit the queen, please. No! Why don't you use any strategy? Superpower? No! No, my magnet! Wasn't hurt that much at all. Wow, okay. Apparently, your superpower isn't so super. Steamroller. Oh. Getting steamrolled by a big bug! <laughs> That's not good. Okay, Stoutland. Doggy, go get that thing. You flinch. You can't flinch. <laughs> it's a little Nidoran male. Silly thing. Um, I'm actually going to take that out. I'm not too worried about this big bug at this point. I'd rather just completely clear the entire team on that side, so it's a two-on-one. Aw, yeah! Besides, I figured the dog would do something. Like, get poisoned! Pretty good at that, huh? That was such a Godzilla sound. Silcoon. Really? Really? You're using a Silcoon on me? Wow. I am so impressed with you, sir. You have some awesome Pokemon. Wow. Anyway, level 65, that's good. Oh man! Arg! I wasn't able to give good orders. Well, what did you expect? You were using a Cascoon and a Silcoon. It's okay, my precious Pokemon will make me feel better when we get home. What do you think would happen if we had our Pokemon fight without any orders? Pure anarchy! Yeah! All right, right here, you can find a balm mushroom. Yeah, I know, it's a balm mushroom. What does that thing do? You can sell it for, oh wow, shaking grass. You can sell it for, oh, a lot of money. I'm trying to even remember how much. Whoa, double rainbow, what does it mean? Too odd to know, that's great. What does it mean? Now you can sell it for a whole ton of money if you take it to the uh, the baker back on uh, Route 5. I think you can sell it for like 25,000 bucks or something like that. So it's certainly worth your while. Look at this double rainbow of Audino. What does it mean? It's so beautiful! That's a lot of experience right there. Yep, it is. Ooh, superpower. Wrong one there, genius. You could have used your superpowers for good, not obnoxious evil. Simple beam. I'll fire the simple beam! No, now you're simple. My poor partner Stoutland is so simple now. 
Oh, well. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Use that superpower. Boom! <laughs> ah, yeah. Gained a bit of experience. Okay, so... um, You may notice that right here is a hidden grotto. However, we can't get to it just yet. Nope. Can't do it. Can't get to that Pokeball either. We have to go from a different angle if we want to get those items. So, just walk on over here and... BOO! <laughs> it's Gorm of the Seven Sages! I am Gorm! I was once one of Team Plasma's Sages. Gorm! Team Plasma's finished. Despite that, you still haven't given up. Are you here planning something? I've been waiting here for two long years, just waiting to sneak up on you and say boo. <laughs> Wait one moment, I have no plans to confront you. I don't mean to disappoint you, but I doubt I'm a match for either of you in the first place. Hmm, what happened to your glasses? Excuse me, but that's not important. <laughs> I learned of my old ally's recklessness, and I had come here to admonish him. But the matter had already been resolved, and this place made me think. What did we believe in that made us try to steal the Dragon Skull? A man who has committed a mistake and doesn't correct it is committing another mistake. Do you understand what this means? Avoiding all mistakes is impossible, but not fixing mistakes you've made, that is truly foolish. That being said, this doesn't really concern you, does it? No, because I don't make mistakes. Well then, trainers, may you and your Pokemon be well. Bye. See ya. You know, if it wasn't for Getsis, he might have chosen another path. Like... I don't know, to my left or something? That's just forest there, pal. Or maybe not. He was the one who decided to follow Getsis after all. That aside, thank you. Your help made this investigation go smoothly. I mean smoothly. <laughs> I had to. This is my thanks. Come on, just take it. Is it a smoothie? Oh no, it's an upgrade. Upgrade? Okay, be seeing you. Cool, so that upgrade will help me evolve my Porygon that I don't have into a Porygon 2 that I don't care about right now. However, right by this suspicious looking lump of grass, you can find TM86, Grass Knot. Yeah, would have come in handy earlier on. There's also this person. Ha! Whoosh! Ha! Whoosh! Okay, after deep breathing exercises comes the time for a Pokemon battle. Seems all right, I guess. Okay, Melita, you've got a Munchlax on your team, level 62. Now we don't even have Charon to help us out anymore, so any healing we do is going to have to be on our own dime. But that's no big deal, it's just a Munchlax. Oh, it's trying to use Snatch to copy my status moves or something, but I don't care. I'm going to take it out, I'm not going to Thunder Wave you. What the heck?! Oh my goodness, I don't believe this. Wow! Wow! That's crazy! She just switched out! And like, extremely smartly, too. That's amazing. Haha. -ha. Two can play that game. Oh yeah, and the Quick Claw activates. That zebra is done. Alright, take that, you darn thing. No more strategy for you. Huh, let's see. Munchlax, you need a dose of America! Actually, you probably don't. I could probably take that thing out with anything. But, whatever. Guess I'll just take it out with a little bit of return. No, you can't do that. You can't do that! See ya! And a cricket tune. Oh, hey, I think I can take this out pretty easily. I don't need to use Brave Bird against it, but I could if I wanted. Just letting you know. I'm probably never gonna use that attack, am I? Pear Song? No! You have so much more to live for, except I dodged it, so you're just going to basically end yourself after three turns. Wow. So smart. <laughs> oh, 
All that I can do now is sigh in sorrow. Yep, it's all you can do. But I can also do this! Here, have a lumberry. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Uh, okay, cool. Well, that was a lot of fun. So, after doing that, we can just jump right down this ledge here. And we'll end up back near the beginning. Except, remember that dude that was just blocking the fence like a troll? Well, now we can just walk right past that fence. And in here, we can find some thick grass, which has higher level Pokemon in it. Plus, there's the green shard hiding here. But wait, there's more. There's a youngster guarding the path. My Pokemon strong points. You'll see them if you fight. Aw, uh, yeah? Show me your Pokemon strong points, and I'll show you just how weak they are. Youngster Nicholas. Nicholas Cage. Cage the Rage. He's got a Fampy, level 60. What a matchup. Ugh, this is not right for me. Not right at all. But I got something that can make it right. Get out here, Scaly. Do your stuff. Gonna have to tickle that thing's nose. Endure? You cannot just endure me. I'm unendurable! If that is even... If that even is a word. If it's not, I'll make it a word. Darn it. Yeah, Fampy. Doduo. Oh, no. Uh, we'll send out America. Mostly because he's not in the level 65 club yet. Which is where I want all of the members of my team to be. Doduo. Doduo. Look at that thing. Who said two heads are better than one anyway? Yeah! And a Fero! Like I care. Let's use her turn and show it a thing or two. Yeah! Hey, did you see my Pokemon strong points? Yeah, totally, man. They are so strong. Okay, um, I'm going to lead with... Actually... I guess I'll lead with Scaly. If it doesn't really matter, I think he's the last trainer here anyway. So, from this point, you can either go south or you can go this way. This is kind of a sidetrack, but I like that. Over here, you'll find a hidden bug gem. Just kind of sitting on the ground, just waiting for you to pick it up. And then, over here, is a kind of hidden sunstone. It's not technically hidden, but it's hiding in the trees. So that can be used to evolve some Pokemon that I've already said like 50 times. Back here, you can find the rumination field. This is where things ruminate or something. This happened around when the hero appeared in Opelousa City with a legendary dragon Pokemon. Right around here, you would hear a very sad cry. Then a bright green Pokemon would run around like the wind. I've heard it's called Verizon. <laughs> I mean, Verizian. And it took up against humans to protect Pokemon from a war between people. It's apparently a legendary Pokemon. Maybe it was afraid that Team Plasma's rising to power would ruin the world and its friends' homes would be destroyed. Yeah, that might be it. Maybe. But it ran away like a coward. So, go back on over to where that fork in the road was, and this time head south and on over here. Once more, you'll find another fork in the road, except this time head over to your right, and you'll find TM22 Solar Beam. Cool. Very cool. Uh, works great if you're using Sunny Day, although most of the time it's not necessary um, as a move in general, because it just requires a lot of setup. Anyway, you can find a rare candy here. Definitely pick that up, and then you surf. Yeah, it charges for a turn when you use Solar Beam. That's the problem. If the weather's sunny out, then it doesn't require any turn of charging. Right over here is a PP Max. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now, remember what I told you in the beginning? Well, not the beginning, but eh, about halfway through the episode, where there's a hidden grotto here? Well, you can only get it from surfing back here, and then you'll find the Hidden Grotto, which in this case has just a Pokeball. Nothing exciting. Oh, well. Although, Pokemon you can find here, though. There's a, let's see, there's an Amoongus with Regenerator. The good one here is Breloom with Technician, and that's just awesome. 
Uh, there's a Beedrill with Sniper, a Butterfree with Tinted Lens, and a Murkrow with Prankster. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. However, I didn't find anything fun at all. So, from here, you can make the choice of either jumping down that ledge, or just surfing back to the beginning. Both routes will probably take about the same amount of time. I'm gonna take this way, though. Oh no, it's a Whirlipede! It's whirling and whirling and whirling. I don't need it. I don't need you, Whirlipede. No, I do. Whoops. There we go. Wait, did I hear shaking grass? I did! Let's see if I can get to it. No! I know, I could have used a repel, but you know what? I didn't care that much. I honestly didn't. It's not really a big deal. Not really a big deal. Although you can find uh, Pan Sage, Pan Seer, and Pan Poor at level 55 here. In addition to Scolipede, Slacking, and then uh, either Whimsicott or Lilligant, depending on which version you're playing. Of course, you can also find Audino, but I think you kind of figured that out already. Anyway, that's everything there is to see and do in the interior of Pinwheel Forest. In the next episode, we're going to check out the outside of Pinwheel Forest, which is still pretty big and has a whole new selection of Pokemon. So, I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White 2 Adventure! See you next time, trainers!